right, all right, all right. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. Neil for money. I hope everybody had a beautiful day today, uh, September the 17th. It's about evening time now, 636 to be exact. But it did look like a beautiful day. It wasn't, it wasn't too hot. You know, weather was just right at that perfect temperature you want it to be where you're not hot and irritated and bothered. You're not cold and, not, you know, shivering. You're just comfortable. You know what I mean? But... You know, I hope everybody was able to enjoy it and that that this day has found many of you in good health. So, now, with that being said, this is part two of creating and posting ads for your EPS business. EPS, Email Processing System. Okay, so now... What I was doing the last video was we were here. And I uh, see, see this is an ad that I just now did. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how I did this ad. Okay, so right now we're doing image ads. This is Image Shack. For those of you that may have not watched part one and you're just now joining in. Image Shack is a website that I use because it allows you to create links for your images this is how I create my well part of what I use to create ads so I have an account you see my name here Neil for money I have an account with image shack and what that allows me to do is it allows me to upload unlimited images um, I think this is like 299 399 a month I don't know if I pay for it monthly or yearly I believe it's monthly I'm not even really sure. <laughs> That's crazy, right? But anyway, yeah, Image Shack allows you to upload limitless images and get links for your images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another ad for you guys. And we're going to start from the very, very beginning. So Image Shack, go to Image Shack, upload. Browse and upload. Um, let me see. Let's go to desktop because desktop is where I... Wait a minute. You know what? First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys this. Well, I don't have to really show it to you. I can just tell you that. I don't really have to show you that. What I did or what I do to get a lot of my images is I go to Google Images. Pinterest, Tumblr, but if you don't have a Pinterest account, if you don't have a Tumblr account, your best bet is to go to Google Images. They have a lot of great images on Google Images. Most of them are high definition, high def. So, I get a lot of my images from Google Images. So, I'm going to go into my desktop. Matter of fact, I'm already on my desktop. Okay, so I'm going to go here. This is an image that I just downloaded from Google Images. I will put that in there. Boom, boom, boom. Image uploaded 100%. Right here, you see it highlighted. This is the link that I was given from that image. They create a link for you because you need that link. So when you right click, copy. Okay, now I can come up out of here. And see the link, see the picture right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here to MySpace Gins. That's MySpace, not MySpace, the social network, guys. MySpace Gins, G-E-N-S dot com. All right, so we'll go right there. And then what I do is I go up to the top. I go right here. Link generator. No, not right there. So let me click on home. Actually, I already created a link, but I'm going to show you guys step by step exactly how I did that. So what you want to do is you want to go right here to link generator. Okay. 
and scroll down to the bottom link type the type of link that I want to get is a image link so I'm gonna click on image link and then I'm going to come right here to link properties image URL this is where you're going to put in the link that you got from image shack so I'm a right click and I'm going to paste that in there now come over here scroll up come over here click options this is where you want people to click since we want people to click be able to click on our image and go straight to our website okay this is where you're going to put in the link URL for where you want people to be directed now so here is where you would put in your uh, custom link which you will get once you sign up with EPS do me of course <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to open this up because my link is in here and I'm going to come right over here. As you can see, I already created an image, but like I said, I'm showing you guys step by step. So I'll take my link, I'll highlight my link, I will right click, I will copy, and I'm going to put this down, come back over here right here where it says link URL you can actually erase this because your link is going to have its own HTTP colon forward slash forward slash so and you want to make sure you erase that because if you don't you'll have two so it, it won't do what it's supposed to do okay which is direct people to your site so I erase that right click and I paste so now this is my custom link to my EPS page so now open in you can leave it at open in the same window but a lot of times you know people like when things open up in a new window because you know you might have been doing something on that window and you don't necessarily want to be bumped out so it's usually better when you give people the option to let it open up in a new window that's what I like to do so now I have all my URLs here we got the URL well not URL the link that image chat created for us we have the link right here for our custom link okay and we got this selected image link and then we got it to open up in a new window so now all we need to do is click boom submit one two three bing 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 look how fast that was done so now here is your link this is your what do you call this like HTML link or something like that but this is your link as I showed you I already saved mine so I'm not gonna save this again you know what I'm gonna do that for so anyway that's how you do it guys that's how you get your image from Google images and then you come to image shack you're going to have to set up an account with image shack you don't necessarily have to set up an account with image shack where you pay them every month that's if you do a lot of ad posting like I do if you do a lot of ad posting you you heavily into that kind of business then you may just want to go ahead and set it up so that you can have unlimited ability to post and create unlimited links for your images all right so but you do still have to set up an account with image chat this way everything you do all the links and all your posts I mean your images they will be saved in your account so you want to go ahead and do that set up an account go to imagechat.com set up your account I'm gonna put the, all of this stuff in the description of this video image chat dot com uh, my myspace gins dot com I'll put it all in the um, description for you guys so you go to image chat put in your image that you snatched off of Google images or wherever okay and then you're gonna you know let let it generate a link for you take that link come right here uh, fill in all the spots and spaces for myspace gins like I showed you 
boom 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 click submit and it's gonna give you a HTML link okay this is the link that when people click on this now this is clickable see now check this out let me show y'all what I mean you see the hand right here whenever you see that hand that's how you know it's clickable so if I click it there you go see how it takes me straight to my page straight to my website and that's basically how you create a clickable image link for when you want to post ads with an image okay is on your side tonight and, uh, how to make money by simply it. staying home all right so now that we did that let me show y'all something else that I want to do all right so now we did that right so this is what we're going to do right here I'm going to boom, 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 let me see come back over here all right uh, so this is clickable now so now what I want to do is I'm gonna show y'all something real quick let's go back to image chat so you know what let's take this image right here right because this is the image that we're going to use right because see what I did to create this image matter of fact nah let me come out of that let's come out of that and let me open this up and let me show y'all what I do so you see how I put all the words up there you know click here need money da 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 let me show y'all what I use to do that now this is for people that don't have Photoshop I have Photoshop Photoshop what is it CS6 there's a fly in here where did he come from ah I can't stand him. can you I don't think anybody can that's one thing we could all live without right as soon as I open that backyard door they zip right in but anyway <laughs> scratch that okay so listen like I was saying this is for people that don't have Photoshop or some type of software where you can create ads and write on images and things of that nature. Well, what I use is Pixlr. P-I-X-L-R. I've been using Pixlr Express. Now, you don't have to use the Express. You can use the editor. Now, Pixlr editor is a little more advanced, and that's for when you want to, like, maybe edit photographs and things like that what I'm doing right now for something like this this is simple and quick so you want to use Pixlr Express so Pixlr Express we're gonna click on Pixlr Express right here okay and I love Pixlr Express I've been using this for years long before I even started this online business okay I love Pixlr Express let it do what it's doing. Um, my service is a little slow sometimes back here because I'm so far away from my my uh, my router. Okay, my back office. You know my router is all the way up in my living room, so sometimes it acts a little wacky. And then my 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 baby right here, I like to call him Poindexter. It's the name of my computer, my laptop. <laughs> anyway, so what we do when Pixlr Express opens up? is you click on browse now browse right I'm already in my desktop that's where I saved this image this image is right here iPhone cuz like I told y'all I like to be a little creative with my um ads and you should too because even though ads dealing with stay-at-home moms that is a high traffic audience stay-at-home mothers they're always looking for ways to earn income or extra income if you will okay elderly people those are very high traffic audiences and you should stick with them but as I told you in the last video I like to try to go out of the box every now and then so I just think about all of the things that people might need money for I don't know like I said you might need money for a phone so what I did was I went on Google images and I got this image of an iPhone iPhone 7 that's the new iPhone right everybody wants one you know and for some people they feel like they need one you understand what I'm saying so you know I, I don't know you might need money for 
this green screen setup right here and here. Maybe you are up and coming photographer, up and coming video producer, but you can't afford all of that expensive video equipment that is needed to do the type of videos that you see on BET or Vivo. Okay, and you know, even here on YouTube, I mean, yo, let me tell you something. I see some people pages here on YouTube, even my page. I heard one person tell me, yo, your videos, your intros and all that, how do you do all of that? You know, so that's why I try to share a lot of the software that I use with you guys. You know, I do tutorials about those softwares and how I do and how I create and things of that nature. Because, you know... Like I said, even up here on YouTube, a lot of these videos, man, they be awesome, off the chain. But if you don't have the money to get these this software and to buy the green screen and the lighting and all that kind of stuff, which I just put up a video a little earlier today about how to light up and set up your green screen for a very cheap price. So, you know, I hope y'all check that video out, man. If you're into green screen, if you're into chroma keyer, you know, Sony Vegas and all that stuff, check that video out, man. I'm telling you, and it really works. You know what I'm saying? My little light-up system that I got, got going on over here, it works. You know what I mean? I It took me some time to get it right, but it works. So, you know, with that being said, like I said, do a video, I mean, do an ad for that. Go on Google Images and just... Put in green screen. Take one of those images for green screen. A green screen setup. Maybe you want to do an ad for that. You need money for green screen setup? Do you need extra cash for green screen setup? Green screen studio? Whatever. Click here. Something simple straight to the point. Anybody that may need extra money for their studio setup. See a video like that. A post like that. And automatically that's going to catch their attention. Because if that's what you into, you see something like that, that's going to catch your attention for sure. You know, so right now, for this little tutorial, I'm using this image with the iPhone. And who knows, I probably will use this as an actual ad. Put this up. Anybody that wants or needs an iPhone 7, see an ad like that, need a new iPhone 7, but don't have cash, click here. So somebody who needs it or wants it will be like, hmm. And click it. You know, you know what I mean? So there's a whole lot of reasons why people need cash. Put it like that. whole lot of reasons. Not always for bills. People don't always need extra cash for bills. People need extra cash just because maybe they, I don't know, want some new clothes. You know, whatever. Jewelry. Who knows? Just to go out with the homegirls, the homeboys. You know, your boo or whatever. I don't know. But, you know, get creative with your ads is all I'm saying to y'all people. So, now, when I come here to Pixlr, what I do is, I got my image up here, showed y'all how to do that, and the first thing you want to do is want to click on the text type. Click on text, they have a lot of different fonts. Another thing I like about Pixlr, they're pretty cool with the fonts. So, we want something kind of simple, so let's just go with Sans. Alright, Franchise, Franchise, that looks kind of cool, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, so what will we say? Let's just say something like, uh, need a new phone, need a new phone. Okay, I'm not fast with typing. I already told y'all that. Look at that. See right there? I already put an extra E. Get rid of that. Okay, need a new phone. Here you go. Come right here, and if you come right here, you can change the color. So let's change the color. Let's make that. Let's make that red, because if that's red, that's gonna stand out. So we'll change that to red, and then what we'll do is we'll move that to let's say right here. Now what you can do also is you can even turn it. Maybe you want to put it on a little a little lean or something. You know, get. Get creative. Hey, is your ad? Is your ad? You can hook your ad up however you want to hook your ad up. So, boom, we got that. Need a new phone. Okay, let's put a question mark right here. Need a new phone? Question mark. Okay, 
So, that looks good. We'll leave it like that. Click apply. There you go. Now we want to add some more text. So, let's say, need a new phone. How about uh, saying something like, we'll say, need a new phone. Don't have cash. Okay, no, let's say, but. Don't. But don't have cash. No, no, no. Let's not say, but don't have cash. You don't want to say that, but don't have uh, extra cash. Let's say extra cash. Okay. Need a new phone, but don't have extra cash. Now let's make it small. All right, but let's change the color so we can see it. Because I can't really see that right now. Can you? Now that looks like a different font, right? How did that get to be a different font? Now, what font did we have the first time? We had franchise. Let's get that back. This is what we had. Okay, so now let's take this. Let's bring that right there. All right, let's make it look. Oh, no, that's how you tilt it. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to just make this a little bit bigger. Move that over a little bit. Okay, so now we got that part. All right, need a new phone, but don't have. See, look, we forgot. I forgot to have. So let's click right there, but don't have. But don't have extra cash. Okay, that looks good. Let's just leave that like it is. Let's click apply to that. All right, need a new phone, but don't have cash. Now let's uh let's go with let's do that sans again. That font keep changing all by itself. Click on franchise. Let's click on type. Okay, let's say let's say let's just say click here. Click here. Okay, boom. That's good. Let's change that color. Let's keep it with that red. Okay. Now let now for this click here. We're just going to take this and we're just going to put this right here. And we're going to make that a lot bigger right there. Boom. See that stand out just like that. And we're just going to leave it like that. Boom. And now let's click apply. And there you have it. That's an ad. That's an ad, guys. There you have it. Need a new phone, but don't have extra cash? Click here. How much more easy can that be? That's just simple, but that's an ad. And that's how ads are created. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Easy peasy. Once you get the hang of it, easy peasy. What I like to do is I like to take a day. Half a day, half a day, a whole day, it doesn't matter. It all depends on how much ads I want to create and how long it takes me. So I take a day, a half a day, to just simply create a whole bunch of ads about anything. Whatever I think people may need money for, whatever I think people need money for, want money for, I just create all kind of ads. It don't matter, because like I said, you never know what people need money for. And believe you me, there is an audience for all of it, for any of it. You understand what I'm saying? There's somebody that's going to see an ad like this with a phone, an iPhone. Need a new phone? You could even put right here, iPhone. You could put right here, I. Just, just to attract people even more, just put an I right there. Instead of saying need a new phone, just put an eye right here. Need a new iPhone? You know everybody loves iPhones. Like, you know, iPhones are all the rave all over town right now. So, you know, you could take something like that and you could say, need a new iPhone but don't have extra cash? Click here. Somebody that want a phone see that ad and be like, oh, snap. Boom. Now, now they on your landing page. They on your landing page for your business. 
And how somebody's interested. Like, wow, I could do that. And I could get paid. And be my own boss. You never know, man. You know what I mean? So never sell yourself short. Never think that it's stupid. You understand what I'm saying? No thought is stupid. Never think it's stupid. Never think, oh, that's not going to work. Who going to want money for that? Who going to want to use that? Who going to want to buy that? Who going to, you know, who going to want to do that? You never know. Just try it. It might actually bring you in some traffic and some revenue. Okay? So, you know, so now we have an ad. Boom. Okay? So now we go over here to save. Okay? Name, say, name iPhone 7. Okay? I got to change this name because of the simple fact that I'm going to put two right there. Because I already have one and it's going to tell me I have a duplicate already. So, you know, y'all know how that goes when you're trying to save something. So, let me just make this quality 100. I just do that because I like it to be on 100. Save. This opens up. Desktop. Okay, we can save it there. Save. All right, boom, boom, boom. There we go. Now we can get up out of here. And once again, if you wasn't paying attention, that was Pixlr. 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 P I X L R. So now what I want to do now is I want to uh, 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 come back here to Image Shack. And now I want to upload that image. See, this is the image that I did the first one. Need a phone, but need cash? Click here. See, don't want to just say, but need cash. You know what I mean? Like, nah, I don't want you to just get the wrong idea. Like, we ain't going to just get you some cash for a phone. <laughs> But anyway, that's why I said, but need, but but don't have extra cash. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, anyway, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to upload the one that we just did. So, I go here to browse and upload and come down here and find my new image, which is right here, iPhone 7 2, open. Upload it 100%. Okay. See the image down there. And right here, right click that. Copy that. Okay, that's the link it just created. And then I want to come over here to MySpace Gens. Scroll up to the top. Go to Home. And come down here. Once that finished turning, doing whatever it's doing up there. And okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna come right here. I'm gonna click on link generator. All right, link generator. First thing we want to do this is an image link that I'm trying to do. So, first thing I want to do is I want to click right here, select image link. See how that example box opened up because it's gonna put our image right there as soon as we finish. So now image URL, you want to right click, you want to paste that link that image Shack just created for you, and you want to come over here, and I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to go into my folder that I have opened already, and I'm going to snatch my custom link that I got from my EPS business, I'm going to right click, I'm going to copy, and then I'm going to put that back down. And I'm going to take this out because we don't need to have two of those. Right click, paste that right there. Okay, now same window. No, we don't want it to open up in the same window. New window. Okay, now submit. One, two, three. Bing, bing, bing. There we go. Your custom link. So as you can see now, there's a hand hovering over this. When you click on it, It'll take us straight to our email processing page. And every time somebody clicks that image now that you have created, that ad that you have created, they will be taken straight to your business landing page on your where side they will have the simply. option to sign up with your business. Okay. And then... 
once do once you get your business up and running what you gonna do is if you don't already have a business YouTube page is you gonna set yourself up a business YouTube page which I'm gonna do a video and show y'all how to do that too set yourself up a business YouTube page and get the, get you some business get you some videos put some videos up there and you know boom there you go people click on your link on your poster your ad come straight to your page so there we have it now I'm gonna come back over here matter of fact I can close this out so as you see it works okay image shack and myspace gins two websites or rather three because I also use Google images to get my images so three websites is what you need or rather maybe four because I use Pixlr sometimes because I have Photoshop like I told you but if you're using Pixlr then let's say four four websites that you will need to create ads and it's one two three as I just showed you you know um, so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna take this I'm gonna highlight my my link my HTML link that was created for me and I'm going to copy it copy that and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna put it inside of my folder right here now as you see iPhone 7 I gave this folder a title well this is not the actual folder that I put my images in I have another folder but I just didn't want to open that up this is already open so I'm just putting it here to show you and you guys how to do it so what I like to do is I like to create folders with my Microsoft Word and what I do for every ad is I first give my ad a title and this one I'm just going to call phone ad all right phone ad and then I come over here and I pick a heading let's go with heading 3 that puts it makes it nice and bold okay so then I come down all right come down one more no I don't have to that's good so now I'll right click and I will paste that right there so now I got two ads that I created this one this one I just created for y'all this is the one that you saw that I showed you earlier so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna post that ad so now I'm gonna put this down I'm gonna come over here I'm gonna open up a new tab and I'm gonna post this ad on US free ads like I told you guys I like US free ads they're really good and they're inexpensive for ten dollars a month I get to post unlimited ads as a matter of fact and they have very high traffic I'm gonna show you guys something right here okay I'm gonna go to my account this is my account this is some of the ads that I have still up and running okay now look they give you a long time for your ads to run too like your ads run for at least a month and if you put special features and you headline your ad your ads can run for two and three months at a time and it, it's all very inexpensive I mean like I said for ten dollars a month nine ninety nine I can post as many ads as I want to post all day every day US free ads they they are they put your ads in classified sites all over the US uh, in so many different sites you know what I mean you get really high volume high traffic look at this this one is 167 views 148 views 130 130 139 okay so you know I mean you know just use your imagination from all of these views of course all of these people have not set up signed up with me because if all of these people signed up from each one of these ads who man I, I probably wouldn't even be doing this video right now <laughs> nah but real talk but you know this really does get a lot of traffic it gets you a lot of traffic and your ads get a lot of exposure so and they have a lot of good uh, what you call 
categories. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to post an ad real quick before I get up out of here. So I'm going to go to post ad. So go to US feed, y'all. Set up an account. As you can see, I'm logged in money over struggle. Money over struggle is another one of my businesses. I tell you, man, I, I do a lot of stuff. I do. I, I do a lot of stuff, man. I don't know when these days it's going to all pay off and I am going to be wealthy. Wealthy enough to just sit back and not do none of this. But then when I do reach that point, what I did, what I do want to do is I want to go out and I want to show other people, teach other people how to achieve that goal or, or that type of, 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 of wealth as well. So I have plans, you know, get these kids off the street. My organization, you know, uh, GunsDownHateDown.com. You can look that up. Guns Down, Hate Down. You know, I'm trying to do things, man. I got a lot of plans to do a lot of things. So, you know, a lot of beautiful, positive things. All right? So, um, anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to come here, and I'm going to pick a category. And I'm going to pick business opportunities. All right. So, now we got to pick. Now, you're going to pick a subcategory. They got a lot of good categories here for, for this type of business. All right, so let me see. Let's go to. I like to pick. Here's marketing. You can choose marketing. That's a good one. Or you can choose work at home. Let's go with work at home. Okay. I'm try to hurry up so I can wrap this up and get up out of here. Now, right at the top, you see affiliate affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing. That's what we do. Affiliate marketing. That's what I do. And if you do that too, then if you do what I'm doing right now, then you are an affiliate marketer. Okay, so you can go to this category or you can go to be your own boss. I like be your own boss. That's one of my favorite categories. Okay, now step two. I don't have any personal categories set up. Personal categories means that every time I want to post an ad, it just knows exactly where my subcategory is, my main category. All of that's already been saved. I've saved all of that. That's a good thing about US free free ads. You, you know, they they have a lot of great stuff up here for you to do. So, you know, uh, place an ad without setting. So, click right there. All right, now, boom, step three. Place ad step three, ad type. Regular classified with text and images. Now, this option is what you would pick if you just wanted to put an ad. And maybe your ad, let's say it was a text ad, like I showed y'all some of my text ads. Maybe you just wanted to put a text ad, and you just want to put a couple of pictures up there with your ad. That's when you would pick this. Okay, enhance classified using our easy, easy to use HTML tools. I don't really mess with this one. Copy and paste HTML code. If you like to create your classified in HTML and you already have the code ready select this option to copy and paste your code and create your ad so I'm gonna pick this one so now here we go add title what you want your title to be alright let's say since we doing a phone let's just say something like uh, uh let's say Need, let's just say what the ad say. Need a new phone and extra cash. Need a new phone and extra cash. So that's pretty cool because, see, something like that is going to get straight to the point. All right, so that's our ad title. Need a new phone. Need a new phone and extra cash. Okay. Told y'all I wasn't a great typer. Sometimes that's why it takes me a lot longer to do this <laughs> than it really should. You know. But anyway, we put that right there. Need a new phone and extra cash. Copy or paste HTML. All right. So now let's go over here and let's get our, let's get our HTML. All right. Come right here. So we're going to take this. Highlight it. Right there, right click, copy, put it back down, come back over here, 
Let's go right click, paste. Okay, now let's see. It says website. Do you have a website? If you have a website you like to to link to from your ad, enter URL above. Web address should start HTTP colon blah 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 blah. And you should link to the most appropriate page that reflects what you're advertising with this ad. Hmm. No, we don't want to do that. We don't need that. All right, so zip code. Now, here's an option that I like. Now, let's say you don't really know exactly where you want to put your ad. So, look, optional. Enter five-digit U.S. zip code if you like your ad, ad display. Add to display in a specific location. You can also change the location of existing ads via, via the edit page in your account. Don't know the zip code? Our zip finder will help you. Just click here. See, I like that zip finder. It helps you. All right. So now let's just select the state right here. All right. Where are we going to post this one at, y'all? We're going to post this one in California, Connecticut, Delaware. Oh, Delaware, that's where I'm at. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's post this in, let's go with Georgia. Okay, now next. Okay, select town or city. Okay, so where are we going to post that? In Georgia, where at? Um, I don't see Augusta. All right, well, who cares? Let's just pick one. We don't know. Let's click next. Okay, these zip codes, select that zip code, whatever. We just going to post it. You know what I mean? So there you go. Your zip code there, everything there. Do, do, do. You got your title. Okay, you got your, you got your HTML. You got your website. Well, I didn't put no website. All right, so let's press continue. And there we go. There's your ad. See what I'm saying? So now you just posted an ad. Easy, easy peasy. That is an ad we just posted. So there you go, people. So now, if your ad is wider than the line, Due to inserting large images or tables, select the wide layout below above to ensure your ad displays correctly. All right. Well, our ad looks good. Check this box if you need to use the wide layout option. Nah, we look good. Let me see. Business opportunity. Work at home. Be your own boss. Title. Need a new phone and extra cash. Price unspecified. Okay, we ain't gonna put no price. And just they'll find the price out when they click it. See the hand? Whenever you see that hand appear, that means that your ad is clickable. So that means all system is a go go. So you wanna try it out? We can try it out. Let's click it. Click it. Boom, there you go. Straight to your website page, your landing page. All right, so there you go, guys. That ad is up and running. Now let's post it. This is a preview, so let's post it. Please wait. Okay. Your ad has been saved. What would you like to do next? See this? Look at this. 39 days. They automatically give you 39 days for your ad to run. This is what I'm telling you. This is why I love US free ads. 39 days. Craigslist, Backpage. None of them give you any of this, man. Craigslist, like I told y'all, Craigslist wants you to pay 25 I pay $25, $35 to post in certain specific states with Craigslist. Why? Because they are high traffic states. 
and and they because they're high traffic and they receive the most amount of traffic it's all about traffic like people don't understand like marketing this business right here it is really dog eat dog and a lot of times when I just don't post in certain areas because I don't feel like paying that money you understand what I'm saying so I just didn't go the free route with Craigslist the majority of my ads are going are free with Craigslist I can't pay twenty five thirty five dollars for every ad but I need to be consistent in my business so I need to have ads out there but like I said who has twenty five thirty five dollars to put to, to pay for every single ad and if you're just starting out in a business you really don't have that kind of money to pay for every time you want to post an ad in a high traffic area an area that receives high traffic such as ATL Atlanta so you know but then when you go to free route with Craigslist what I find is that because Craigslist the competition is so thick on Craigslist like everybody every marketer out there affiliate member to member uh, MLM I don't care what kind of marketing sales business you're in they will all use Craigslist they all use Craigslist excuse me and I mean the thing the thing about when you, you go when you go the free route with Craigslist is that people are able to sometimes just bump you out like do you know how many ads I put up on Craigslist that I go back and check that ad a day or two later and somebody has bumped me out like people can actually do that on Craigslist like just for whatever reason I don't even know how they do it because I don't do that I don't get down like that listen this business the way I the way I see it is for everybody I don't have time to be out here trying to stop someone else from, from feeding their family or themselves for that matter or just from from making ends meet you understand what I'm saying but I find that there are a lot of people on Craigslist in particular or maybe Craig maybe Craig is the one doing it whoever the hell Craig is I don't know but you know I don't know but all I'm saying is that that's one thing I find to happen you know a lot you know what I mean I put ads up and I'll come back a day or two later or whatever have you and check and you know my ad them been taken down somebody done you know what's the word they call it ghosting ghosting somebody done you know had my ad you know taken down you know it's crazy you know what I mean and you know I don't know you know what I'm saying like these are a lot of things that I talk about on my truth seekers channel so a lot of you guys man y'all check that channel out because you know I just talk a lot about people us human beings looking at ourselves especially when it comes to my African American community brothers and sisters you know like 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 I said with the whole Craigslist thing people bump you off for whatever reason you know just hating like your ad is up there why can't my ad be up there you understand what I'm saying or maybe it's somebody that I don't know they work with a different company so now they feel like we in competition but I'm gonna say one little message before I get up out of here listen I don't have a company so if you bumping people's ads off because you don't want them to succeed or you don't want them to get more than you you know or, or, or maybe they with another company and you with I don't know let's say instant payday network and they with let's say zip not a zilch or whatever and so now, now you feel like this is your rival like what rival is it your company is any one of those companies your company no you understand what I'm saying at the end of the day listen everybody has bills to pay everybody needs to eat everybody needs to be able to feed their family if you have a family so you know when I do this you know what I'm saying like I do this because what I know I I want other people to be able to go out there and make money too and 
and survive and take care of themselves. So, you know, I also do this as a way to boost my business. Of course, it's the main reason why most people who have business channels here on YouTube do it. So, you know, with that being said, you know, that's pretty much how you put an ad together. A, a clickable ad, you know, take a take an image and make it a clickable image. So, there you go. And that's how you post it. So, once again, uh, check this out, guys. Email processing, man, you know, it, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool, you know, and it's not very, very, how you want to say, time-consuming to the point as where you got to sit home and you got to rattle your brain trying to learn SEO, you know, like I told y'all in the first video. SEO, man, search engine optimization, oh boy, yo, that, that ran me ragged trying to learn search engine optimization. Well, when I first started building my own websites, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, WordPress, you know what I'm saying, blogging and then blog page and all that stuff, you know, oh uh, man, and everybody's trying to get ranking, top ranking for Google, for your web, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, for your website to come up, you know, at the, at the top of the search engine. Everybody's looking for that top ranking, you know, and maybe that's why people ghost ghost each other's ads on Craigslist and all that stuff, whatever have you. But, I mean, you know, it was a lot, you know what I'm saying? It took me a good minute to finally get it, that whole search engine optimization, that whole affiliate marketing, you know, MLM and all that shit. And, you know, even though I'm not a master, I have much more knowledge of the business. And this right here, email processing system, it's all up to you. You understand what I'm saying? As I just showed y'all how easy it is to, to create and post ads. You know what I mean? One, two, three. And when you sign up through me, of course, got to put that out there. Um, then you're going to get all of this. I'm going to send you the whole complete package. So you will have all of this. You understand what I'm saying? You'll have everything. You know what I mean? And uh, like I showed y'all, where was it? Here? No, this is the same one. So let me close that out. And I can close this out too. Because we put that ad up there. There it is. That's our ad. Need a phone and extra cash. Expires in 39 days. All right. So... Let me just close that out, and let me just come right here. As a matter of fact, I can close all this out. Link, I'm going to put all these links on, in the description so that you guys can have everything you need, all right? Because that's what it's all about. Success, succeeding. Okay. Now, and let's go right here. Do this real quick for y'all. Let me see my time. Let me check my time real quick. Okay, because if it, oh, we, this one ran into an hour. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry.